Hello and welcome to this early access first look at the large cow barn coming to FS22 by Lancy Boy. Let's get into it. So as always, a massive thank you to Lancy Boy for allowing me early access to this and to have a little play around with it. Now this barn is still a work in progress to the point that just before I hit record I got sent a new version. So we have popped that in and we're going to see how it goes. Now this is absolutely beautiful. Over the last few days, Lance Boy has shown a few uh, images of this on Facebook in uh, different groups. And uh, yeah, it is really nice. Now before we go and have uh, an in-depth look around it and in it, let's have a look in the store and show you some of the options. So just looking to find another <laughs> spot of land comfortable enough to place this. And you can see that we have green, uh, sort of a yellow comes in red uh, blue black white uh, an off-white it gets darker gray to a full red barn brown got all the colors back to yellow green now do as you wish with it fits in with all the other colors that he puts in all his other packs and uh, yeah it costs two hundred and fifty thousand plus landscaping and if we drop it down, you'll be able to see it has a decent footprint. It will level the land with it. It's very nice. So let's go in and have a closer look at it. Now, this barn um, does facilitate dairy cows. The last two we looked at didn't. They were more for fattening up. And once they're fattened up, I guess you move them over to the big house. So we have doors everywhere. Doors everywhere. You can get into all these little spots, get into your cows, do what you, live, do what you wish, as I say. Now, it holds 500 cows. We've got 20 Holstein, 20 Swiss Brown, just for the aesthetics. But 500 cows capacity. And they are purchased here. Like I say, slurry is there. Then as you go down the middle, this is your food trigger. And it is a very big food trigger. You cannot go wrong. It reaches from edge to edge, from door, quite literally, to this point here. Then in the middle here, this is your milking trigger. Collect your milk here. You've got a milker there. You've got one on the other side as well. Manure. We'll uh, stack here. You can manually or automatically load your manure from there. And down here is where we put our bedding and our straw. And this trigger will go from this doorway or that archway all the way to the roller door at the front. And it will go, it reaches into the pens. So as you can see, these four pens are separate. They are not the same. Cows in separate pens. So that one's completely detached. This one is detached from all the others. The cows spread out quite evenly within them and if you want you can if I open up this door you can actually go in these back doors and with your bales your straw blower or your loose straw you can come in and you can unload your bedding into here or you can do it out there it works on both um, not with the bedding at the front because the bedding trigger is across the back. You've got your feed trigger across the front. But that feed trigger feeds all four pens. This bedding will bed up all four of the pens in there. Now, we have the beautiful glass panes that we've had in a few other Lancy Boy uh, placeables. Really nice. And we've got the mesh. Now, I know that in previous models and in this one, he's tried to play about with these to try and get them to move and to do different things. And, uh, yeah, I think they are just static for now, but he would love to find a way to get them to move. You never know. He may get there. But this is absolutely gorgeous. I know I'm a big fan, and I know I always seem a little bit biased because I get the early access. But these are very nice. Very nice sheds indeed. We will uh, have a little look down. Both sides are exactly the same, just to show. No extra triggers or anything down the back. Got a bit, a bit of daylight on this one. Very, very cool. So, we shall 
go in and uh, drop some feed in so you can see how it all goes. So we'll start with our TMR. Let's get this round. Plenty of room. You can get a big tractor, a big wagon in here. Loads of room. You could put a big old truck through it if you wished. You've got the uh, the pane that goes through in the middle as well, which is a nice little addition. So it's not completely open all the way through, but it's not shut off. You can see through. The light travels through. The beam work, as always, is immaculate. The way that it overlaps and layers, I think that's really nice. I think that's something new. That's something unique that we've not had before. Absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. So it's showing you we can start filling. That would be for the manure. And then the milk, obviously, is down by the side. So then as we come out, I'll just park up out the back here. That's our placed one from earlier. We'll jump in, we'll get some straw in here. Like I say, this fits in really well with those. We shoo them off um, last time. Like I say, you can rear and raise it in there. And then convert them over to the big house once they're ready for milking. If you like to role play in that way. Bring them through, drop them in. So as we go through, see, we drive through the trigger into the back. And as soon as we get in here, we can get our straw in. Drop that down. And that'll go in for bedding for all of them. They will take a lot. There are five, 500 capacity here. So capacities for straw, feed, it, it, it's huge. If we take a little look inside, make sure we hit the right one, large cow bomb. So that would probably go to, um, not worked it out, about 50, 60,000. And again, with your straw, that's going to go really high. That's going to probably going to go 100,000 there. So you can get a lot of bedding in here. You're still going to have to stay on top of your feed, feed them regular. But there is plenty there. Slurry capacity will be high. I should imagine your milk capacity will be high. And uh, you can usually get a good pile of manure on a Lancy Boy manure pit. The small bars he creates has 100,000 litres. I haven't looked into the guts of the mod to get the exact numbers. But that is it. That is the large cow bar. Kuban? Kuban. That is the large cow barn by Lancy Boy. Like I said, it costs 250 to place, holds 500 cows, it milks, it manures, slurries. I think it's gorgeous. It's very different. I don't think we've got anything that is like this one. Again, if you go back in, that ceiling. His ceilings are always. The most amazing scene is weird, but they always are. The detail, the attention to detail. That's why I love his mods, the attention to detail. But hopefully you've enjoyed that. Hopefully you'll get to enjoy this one real soon. If you have enjoyed this first look, give it a big fat thumbs up down below. If you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, turn the bell notification on, find out when new videos are going live. As always, comments and feedback down there. You guys have a wonderful day, and hopefully I will see you again very soon. Bye-bye.